A very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. The President of Iraq, Faoud Massoum, received today the Bahrain's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who is on an official visit to Iraq. The Foreign Affairs Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the Iraqi President. President Massoum urged the Minister to convey his greetings to the wise leadership, expressing pride in the brotherly bilateral relations and affirming the importance of bolstering them. The Minister highlighted the Kingdom's keenness to enhance joint cooperation and coordination in Iraq in various fields, stressing Bahrain's support of all that maintains Iraq's stability and prosperity. Iraq's Prime Minister, Dr. Haider al-Abadi, also received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid conveyed to Dr. Al-Abadi the greetings of the wise leadership and their wishes of further progress and success. He praised the fraternal relations between Bahrain and Iraq, as well as the keenness to increase cooperation and coordination in all fields for the benefit of the two countries' peoples. For his part, Dr. Al-Abadi expressed pride in the historic bilateral relations, affirming that stability of Bahrain and the brotherly countries is that of Iraq. He noted the importance of joint Arab action to face all challenges, Al-Abadi expressed appreciation for the visit of the Foreign Affairs Minister, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. Sheikh Khalid praised the continuous efforts of the Iraqi government to combat terrorism, which successfully resulted in the liberation of Mosul from the terrorist ISIL group. He reiterated Bahrain's support of the measures taken by Iraq to combat terrorism and maintain security and stability throughout the country. Also during his visit, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with his Iraqi counterpart, Dr. Ibrahim Al Jafri. Sheikh Khalid praised the course of Bahraini Iraqi cooperation and reviewed means of enhancing it in various fields for the benefit of the two countries' peoples. For his part, Iraq's Foreign Minister underscored the fraternal bilateral relations, hailing the Kingdom's supportive stances towards Iraq in its fight against terrorism. He wished the Kingdom further progress and success. During the meeting, the two parties agreed to coordinate stances in all events and to enhance relations through the two countries' joint committee, as well as to discuss the latest regional developments. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for ministers to inspect citizens' needs, the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, attended the open meeting organised for the Duraz village residents to benefit from the ministry's services. The minister explained the wise leadership's approach and keenness to keep citizens aware of their rights and duties, affirming that benefiting from comprehensive social protection services contributes to developing living standards. Hamedan noted that the government is keen on providing a suitable environment for citizens to enjoy the privileges of the kingdom, hailing the efforts of the civil community organizations in Duraz village and their role in, hailing, in enhancing good citizenship values to achieve developmental goals. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to inspect the citizens' health care needs, the Minister of Health, Faika Saeed Al Saleh, visited Kuwait Health Centre in Al Malikia. Al Saleh affirmed that the leadership has always prioritised health care. She met with a number of officials at Kuwait Health Centre, where she was briefed about citizens' suggestions to enhance the centre services. She also reviewed a number of strategies concerning coping with population growth and the centre's capacity to receive patients. She directed all officials and medical and administrative cadres to take note and study the citizens' suggestions. The Bahrain Defence Forces General Command has announced that the Royal Bahraini Naval Force will implement a live ammunition firing exercise in Hera Ishtaya area starting tomorrow, Monday 14th, which will last until Wednesday 16th of this month. It will be held between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. each day. The BDF urges citizens and residents to avoid the mentioned area for their own safety. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Barah Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks as Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,322.78 points, marking a decrease of 1.50 points below the previous closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and the services sectors and investors traded mainly in the industrial sector with 40.68% of total shares. 
71 transactions included 2,501,398 shares worth 575,937 Bahraini dinars.